Hello. Because we don't use a PCA pump very often, we've prepared a short presentation on the use and also documentation. The first thing that you do, as with any medication, is check the orders. You'll see an order for PCA monitoring, all the details, and then also the dose. We also prepared a short YouTube video on programming the PCA pump. You can either click the QR code or the YouTube link. Here are screenshots of programming the pump. You pick the medication. Second, there'll be a clinical advisory where you are requested to have a second RN check, confirm at the bottom. And then you'll see the setup again and you confirm the next thing you do on the bottom left is pick the infusion modes. Usually on 11 tower, we're using PCA dose only. And then we need to program the lockout interval. And our usual is 10 minutes. Here you'll be looking at the order set and you scan just as we do for any other medication. In the left-hand side here under the morphine, you'll see the PCA dose, the orders for the lockout interval, the continuous rate, which in this case is zero, and the loading dose is two milligrams. Usually by the time we get the patient, the loading dose has already been completed. Another thing we need to do is complete the shift total. And here's the steps for that. Obtain the PCA key, Pick channel select, turn the PCA key to program. Now pick options, which is on the left hand side. Then patient history, review the data, and clear shift totals. You should clear the shift totals anytime you're handing off to another nurse, whether it's at four hours, eight hours, or 12 hours. For documentation in the flow sheet, you want to um, go to the flow sheets, type in opioid monitoring on the left on the right hand side, and then make sure that you complete the opioid induced sedation monitoring, the ET CO2, and then um, go down to the PCA assessment and you want to put in the verification, the number of attempts, the number of doses given the shift, the total amount the shift of morphine, and the volume infused, and all these things you will find from the pump. Here's a larger screenshot of the shift documentation. When discontinuing the PCA, you need to waste any remaining medication. Obtain the PCA key and report, repeat the process for shift totals. Push and hold the power to turn off the PCA. Discontinue capnography and pulse oximetry. Remove the primary line fluids from the piggy tail on the PCA tubing and connect directly to the patient's saline lock. Remove the syringe from the PCA pump and discard the tubing in the black bin in the soiled utility room. Remember, you'll need a buddy to witness the waste of any remaining medication. If the PCA medication was removed from the Pyxis, then the waste is documented in the Pyxis. If it was hand delivered, then the waste will need to be recorded on the narcotic sheet in the medication room. The remaining medication needs to be wasted into the liquid drug disposable bottle on the wall in the medication room, as pictured on the right hand side. And just to finalize this, the PCA monitoring parameters, how often you should monitor the patients. And you can look at each of the, of the um, vital signs and follow this. There's a copy of this in our high-risk binder as well. Thank you.